and welcome to The Horn Report. I'm Stephanie Jackson. And I'm Hunter Jackson. The controversy surrounding the cactus has been a boom for business, but will it be enough to save the cafe? We've got the latest. But first, we'll take you to the groundbreaking ceremony of UT's newest building. UT broke ground today on construction for the new five-story, $50.6 million BELO Center for New Media. The building will feature state-of-the-art classrooms, lecture halls, student offices, and a cafe. It will be located across from the Communication Building on the northeast corner of Dean Keaton in Guadalupe Street. A recent study released by the American Enterprise Institute for Public Policy Research shows that Hispanics are graduating with a bachelor degree at a lower rate than white students. Here at UT, 69% of Hispanics graduate in six or less years, while that number is 80% for white students. The study recommends a greater focus on retention and graduation rates, along with better financial information for students and their families. Financial documents recently obtained by the Daily Texan show that the Cactus Cafe made a net profit of nearly $12,500 last month. That's 232% more than the cafe made last year in February. The increased profit is largely a result of the rise in admissions revenue. Last month, the Cactus Management reported $45,000 in revenue from ticket sales alone. This is almost double the amount brought in February last year. UT announced Monday that 10 of the 16 colleges are offering more classes for the summer semester. UT officials say this will allow students to graduate sooner, and to encourage summer enrollment, Pell Grants will be available for students taking as few as three hours. And this week in crime, UTPD reported a considerable increase in theft recently. In the past week alone, one car, four bikes, 15 textbooks, four phones, one laptop, and most importantly, two bags of Snickers were reported stolen. UTPD estimates the value of missing property at almost $16,500. University police officials stress that most of these crimes could have been prevented if students, faculty, and staff took a few extra moments to secure their belongings. Last week, the university announced that all students will be taking their loans out exclusively from the federal government. UT officials said that they are making the change largely because of pending federal legislation, which would end the current bank-based system as early as this summer. Other Texas universities, such as Texas A&M, University of North Texas, and UT San Antonio are also making the switch. Now, here's Nick Schwartz with the latest in Longhorn Sports. The number eight Texas baseball team prepares for their third game against Texas Tech today. The first game went to Tech 12-5. Taylor Youngman started for the Horns and just could not get control of his breaking ball. He gave up eight runs, the most he has ever given up in a game, and was taken out during the fifth inning. The second game looked much the same as Tech jumped to an early lead in the first. But as the game continued, Texas was able to bring in runners on doubles and triples and take the game 8-3. Cole Green was credited with the win. In other news, the Longhorn football team holds its spring scrimmage, Orange vs. White, on April 4th at 4 p.m. And for the first time in 15 years, the team will not play the season opener at home. Texas will head to Reliance Stadium to face the Rice Owls September 4th. I'm Nick Schwartz, and this has been your weekly Longhorn Sports Update. All right, that's all for this week. Thanks for watching the Horn Report. We'll see you next time.